Hey there, I'm back here at the metro and today I'll go to the city center. So let's visit some of the best sites in Tashkent. Speaking of the metro, I don't know about you guys, but I simply love it. It's so amazing in the city, like really every station is such a treat. I could dedicate an entire video to it, something like my top 10 favorite stations. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested, because I would gladly make such a video. So we're going out now and explore some stuff in the center. Hotel Uzbekistan, statue of Timur Lenk and uh, Independence Square here in the area. It's gonna be fun. Sorry for my appearance, but if you watched the last episode, it was rather rainy. Who knows, maybe it rains again. We're about to find out. That was a nice metro station, wasn't it? Very pretty. Massive thing, Hotel Uzbekistan. I don't even know how I look or if I can sense of this, but yeah, Hotel Uzbekistan. Do you see it behind me? Am I doing a good job? Probably not. Uh, you see it? <laughs> Pretty big, huh? The Palace of International Forums there and uh, Hotel Uzbekistan from the other side and uh, the big square here and there's a nice park around it I love it, it's very green I mean they have a lot of parks and green spaces I thought this place would be packed Yeah, well, this is how it looks when you travel off-season. This is the main attraction of uh, Amir Timur Square. It's a statue of uh, Amir Timur. Really nice. This is a rather new statue. I think it was uh, erected here in 1991 after Uzbekistan uh, became an independent state. Earlier there was a statue of Lenin and then uh, after Lenin's death uh, it was destroyed and replaced with a Stalin statue. And in the 60s I think a lot of buildings in Tashkent were destroyed by a huge earthquake and uh, then uh, Stalin's statue was replaced by uh, one of Karl Marx. 1991, the, the name of the square was changed to Amir Timur Square and uh, the statue of uh, Karl Marx was replaced by this one. Very nice. The monument and the square were created in 1993. Yeah, I've read somewhere that it was 1991 could be that it was started in 91 and finished in 93 I don't know I forgot to mention that uh, Hotel Uzbekistan has a bar on the 17th floor well, apparently here you can win some stuff bears yeah so there's a bar on the 17th floor of the Hotel Uzbekistan which uh, would be pretty interesting to visit you know just for a fast pint uh, but I don't want to do it now because I hope for better weather tomorrow so maybe I get to visit it then it would be nice to, to film 
this whole area uh, from above. I bet it looks very nice. Let's hope for better, better weather tomorrow. And uh, maybe I take you to Hotel Uzbekistan to see it from the inside. But even if I don't get there, you can. Because, uh, yeah, now you have this uh, hidden tip. You don't need to be accommodated there. I mean, I heard mixed reviews. Mixed to, let's say, not so good. Uh, so you don't need to book there for one night to explore the hotel. You can just enter, take the elevator, go to the 17th floor, or even stop somewhere on the way. And uh, yeah, you're just going to the bar to have a pint. Anyway, like I said, I'm not gonna go there now. We leave this for tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, yeah, let's explore this street. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be very lovely in the evening. Probably because of the lights. But the weather doesn't really help me. <laughs> really. Uh, usually there are some games, merry-go-rounds, and you know, people eat and drink something and have a lot of fun. A lot of locals, locals come here. Uh, so yeah, people say it's a good place to actually interact with locals. Yeah, I suppose this is during the summer. Now it doesn't seem so packed as I expected. And uh, yeah, maybe it looks like it's evening and my camera is shaky. But uh, no, it's not. It's just pretty dark outside. But yeah, this is the street basically, an alley uh, between uh, Amiatimu Square and uh, Independence Square. That's uh, somewhere there. Yeah, some stuff still open. You can throw some darts there. Get some cold drinks. Oh, what's that? Some Wheel of Fortune or something. Alright, still some attractions around here. But uh, I bet if you come and visit uh, in the summer, like most of the people do, or late spring or early autumn, probably September, October would still do it. Uh, I'm sure you can have a lot of fun here, especially in the evening because uh, the lights are better. Korean street food. Well, I heard there's a pretty big Korean community here in Toshkent. So it could be that the Korean street food, if it's like genuine, it's pretty good. And I didn't try it yet. has a really interesting vibe. Yeah, it's off season. Maybe a lot of attractions are closed, but I'm still having a great time. Like everything looks so good. I kind of feel like I have the whole place for myself. Of course, lots of locals, but uh, you get this feeling that you're surrounded by just locals. Probably in the summer they are, you know, like, oh, yet yeah, another tourist. And now not so many. Not so many of us. Okay, let's go to, to to the Independence Square. The Palace of Grand Duke Nicholas Konstantinovich. And this is supposed to be the big fountain. Look at these tiles, very colorful. But at the moment it's just filled with uh, a bit of uh, rain water. Still really good for, for some reflections. Okay, I think I lied to you. This is actually the fountain. Looks more impressive, doesn't it? So, Independence Square, it's over there.